Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 90th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art, streaming live to you from Northeast Ohio. And as you can tell, Windex is not my cleaner of choice. 409 is my cleaner of choice. Albert's got a little bit on me in that regard. But I'm your host, Bill Cox. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there will be 10 rounds of art for sale, with each dealer bringing two artworks per round for sale. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Rounds five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less, and anything goes in rounds nine and 10. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both of their artworks for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine through 10. In total, 48 artworks, or 48, 40 artworks will be available for purchase during tonight's broadcast. As always, viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. And you will have one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap, where dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Both dealers are always accepting reasonable time payments, as we all know. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork in the same, at the exact same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. But of course, our view of the chat is ordered properly and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork. Look at that handsome zombie uh, that's been presented in front of you, just like him. However, the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept this offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently in there uh, presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact one of our dealers if you've claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Include your mailing address and, of course, your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! was a good one i'll give you that <laughs> that was really we good i wanted to do something like that for a while so i decided it was was there any audio there or was it uh... oh there was audio you didn't hear the squishy sound yeah no i mean uh for me and sharon in the beginning no you were, just, like no, you were uh ghostly voices yeah i had oh, okay. remember i had you guys well the headless just... host of comic book art exactly exactly bill's twin is now sitting in for for him. But Bill's twin was, twin was on the couch with him too, by the way. So, you know, but, uh, but yeah, you know, I can't play the same lines every week, but I, I just knew that everybody wanted to see uh, Sharon in that lovely dress again. And you too, you were quite lovely in that, Anthony. And we needed another, another pass. Yeah, Anthony in a blue dress looks perfect. You have good taste in men. <laughs> yes, exactly. Ryan White says. You that, like your men plus size. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we do around here, Mike, our band Anthony. <laughs> Tony, it's a little crazy for me today. I flew into Ohio, and uh, you know, I'm just not prepared as I normally would be. I'm not using my right uh, camera. I don't have. My You're mic. here in Ohio. I didn't even know that. I flew in today because I'm doing my final pack here in uh, at the house and driving down to Florida this weekend. So, so the yeah. house has sold, huh? Uh, it's we're waiting for one last inspection thing on Friday. Uh, 
So, you know, a test fail testing again. Yeah, it could be ghosts. You never know. But uh, hopefully by Friday, I'll know for sure. But it's under contract. It should be done soon. Um, the 19th was supposed to be the closing date. But we'll see. But I'm done. I'm packing it up and I'm taking it all down. And uh, I'll be back up for the holidays. So, well, welcome to the show, guys. Some, uh, let's let's get this point slip going. Nails. What's that? Frames, Anthony. He needs the frames. Recycle some hooks and nails. and nails. Yeah, I did get those uh, uh, picture hangers. Thank you so much. <laughs> they will come in handy. It's. You know, I heard it was uh, uh, well received. It was. Everybody in the uh, audience loved that. So I'll uh, just do our coin flip here to get to see who gets to go. Flip it. Uh, flip it good. Do, 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 do. I'll go first. Oh. 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 And the winner is Mr. Berkey. So, Mr. Berkey, who would you like to go first today? Oh, smash first. Oh, first. Oh, first. Oh, oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those nights. It's getting close to Halloween. So, uh, all right. Well, let's. Uh, now, let's do you even want to ask how New York Comic Con went? Like all that, you know? Yeah, I thought you'd ask how New York Comic-Con? went, Bill. I don't know. That's a Thursday night thing for me. How was New York for all of you? I mean, I'm sure it was pretty lonely without me with you guys. But oh no, uh, it was just fine without you, Bill. <laughs> Thank you. I, I did awesome there. It was great. I had great. a five booth set up. I had my own row. Oh my, my own cul-de-sac. Yeah, I was the center of gravity for the uh, the Comic Con world. I brought cake pops and cake push pops. Did you have that whole oh, island, Anthony? Cakes. Uh, I had three on this side and two on this side. So oh, I, I saw only the two were sharing was. I wasn't sure. Bill, uh, Bill, I assume will be showing some cool pictures we sent them, right? During the I show. have a ton of pictures that uh, you guys sent and some other people sent. So, yes, I've got lots of pictures. Um, uh, Jeffrey says he's got a picture of Anthony and Sharon at New York Comic Con. And the cupcake Sharon brought uh, were delicious. So that's Yay! I'm glad you liked them. Yes. Five-star oh, I, I, I had your push-up. It was awesome. Awesome. Yay. The cake push-up was awesome. That one. That was good. Mike Callahan wants to have a clean one. For the vanilla ones. (laughs) I have the best picture with the push pop. Let me show you just one picture. Where'd you stick it, Anthony? Huh? Where'd you stick it? We're not going to get a picture of that. No diaper shots, I hope, says David Wetzel. (laughs) No no diapers were worn, I believe, in New York Comic Con. Kevin Eastman with the... Kevin Eastman is holding up a push pop. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, yeah. He deserves one of those uh, cake pops, that's yeah. for sure. Or push pops, I'm sorry. See, I, I, this is my first time seeing him, so it's all new to me. He's an awesome guy. Get along and I saw him. a question in the chat. It's 10 rounds, everybody. One through four, 1,000 or less. Uh, four through eight, 2,000 or less. Anything goes in nine and 10. So 40 yardworks total, 10 rounds. Is the uh, All curated to butts from my, my take at the show by Cell Trading. There you go. There you go. A lot of new stuff. All right, so Mike, I just you want to say that my everything. my high buyer of the night gets a, a autographed uh, Bob Hope picture. Bob Hope from Cleveland, Ohio, and a and a minority. And this is a live signature, him. but I don't know if it's real. I mean, it's probably you know you he was the biggest signature. star in the world at the time. Anthony will sign the back of that for anybody that. Yeah, uh, I'll sign it right now. Actually, no, don't do it yet. No, don't until they ask you. Whoever wins yeah. it gets what? to tell you. How about like this. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, everybody except Bill looks like they lost weight. Hmm. Bob, I'm not sure how to take that, uh, Adam. <laughs> All right. Well, it's, it's, the, it's the new the camera. I can't. Uh, I, I'm kind of looking gigantic in this thing. There was no uh, perspective that I could change on it. So you get. That's uh, why she married him. Get what you get tonight. Oh, All right. Like, you, Bill, you're looking more like Shaggy right now. So we're ready for our Scooby Doo episodes. You're very shaggy in the. Uh... uh, yeah, my hair. I, I'm definitely in uh, line for a haircut. I think it's gotten to the point. You know, when you put a shirt on and your hair is inside your collar, you know you've reached that uh, point where you need to. I haven't experienced that in. Yeah. Wow, thirty years. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, and I did have long hair at one time. Yeah. Right? I had Prince prin- Valiant. I had hair. a Prince Valiant bangs. The whole works. It's really cute. Bangs. Right. I'm not going for a Prince Valiant look ever. So uh, that's no bangs. No. All right, Mike, let's get you started with round one here. All let's right. Go are you kidding me? Doozy. Sexy, and, sexy. And, and, all right, Mike. Me? 1A is on the board. 
Very cool. I got another one. Uh, uh, Jill Thompson. This says Wonder Woman in all the panels. Jill Thompson, Wonder Woman 62 from 1991. This is 31 years old. Just went, from like the it. story titled uh, Pages Turn. It's sort of a flashback with uh, one of the Amazons on Paradise Island dies. And it keeps flashing back to a, a friend called Vanessa Capatilis. Don't know who she is, but she graduates high school and Diana gives her a hug and everything, but it's all flashbacks from the past to the present, but has a half splash. Wonder Woman's in every panel, 31 years old, very cool page there. Uh, again, and uh, signed by Romeo Tango on the front, and Romeo Tango signed it on the back. All right. We'll and you're next them, so that's the first one. Second one, these have been going for a lot, and they're getting very sought after a... Uh, I don't know what issue, but really nice 1970s John Buscema, uh, Savage sort of Conan prelim pages. Conan's, I love the bottom left too. Conan in every panel. Really nice. Uh, Conan climbs a mountain, sees a skull on the ground, and then he climbs higher and looks over the top of the mountain. Done on 11 by 17 inch drawing paper. So very, very cool. I wasn't able to do enough research to figure out what issue it is, but it, it is definitely from a published page. Uh, was page 18, as a matter of fact, from, uh, I'm sorry, page 12. Page 12 from the story from a Savage Sword book. So, same size as the uh, as the published page. So, very hey, cool. Uh, Mike, just side. like Todd and Deb said, you you sound a little hoarse tonight. What's going on? Oh, I definitely, I, I lost my voice on Sunday of the show. So, a uh, little hoarse. All that shouting with Anthony that you were doing. I've probably I know you're going to say why the long face. We, we saw each other for all of uh, 10 minutes. But we did do a big deal. We, we did do a big deal. deal. In ten there. minutes, you did a big deal. Yep. I don't know how that could, that's possible. You know, it's oh, New Yorkers. We know what we want. We get it done. On Halloween show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. All right. Well, too much talking. I understand. That's how it goes. But uh, too many cake pops. I hope you're feeling better soon, there, Mr. Berkey. Well, Yelling so like your okay, audio just anyway. He just wants to match your audio. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Spidey. There he is. There's Mikey. All right, uh, Anthony. You're up. Here is your 1A artwork by Mr. Frank Brunner. Yep, Frank oh, Brunner. Very nice. Doctor Strange. Woo! Sell it, Sharon. Well, I really like Doctor Strange. One of my favorite characters. This is a commission. It's signed $400. And this one is actually inked by somebody. Anybody hey. recognize that signature? But uh, so penciled by Frank Brunner and then inked by a professional. Uh, very nicely, very I cool. like it. Yeah, for Hun. For Hun. Oh, the eyes. Very nice. I thought that was Anthony. We've seen him dress as Doctor Strange before. Yeah. No mustache for me. No oh, mustache. Is there a year on it? No. Is it dated? Uh, it's on, uh, you know. No, not dated. Is it dated? Oh, I was just so used to you asking what size it was. <laughs> I have a blue line. I'm gonna check. Uh, it's not blue line. It's uh, it's a uh, pencil and ink. Nine by twelve. Nine by twelve drawing paper. Uh, no year. No year. All right. Well, you got thirty seconds to talk about this George Perez wasp pencil. But there's art pencils piece. all over it. It's not it's just the wasp. Oh, it's Sharon's favorite. Oh no. I love the wasp. Oh, uh, yeah, and George I'm Perez. selling the wasp. Nineteen ninety-eight. That's Sharon. a good year. AJ was born. Oh, nice. AJ was born. Yeah, we had a big happening in our family. AJ was promoted. Uh, he won the contest for Lego Master. Yeah, he's an yeah. le actual Lego Master now. So he's the Lego Master of the Lego Store at American Dream. Yes. Dreams so come true. We're very proud about that. I see. Hey, that and I couldn't go. Sharon went uh, Friday and supported him. Watched and, the competition, and which the was competition. a nail biter. It was so scary. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he had to but win a contest to get that? I was that? like, he's got it. He's got it. Yes, hmm. you do, Mike. It's a, con it's a competition. You have an offer, Mike. Yeah, hey, Chris, can we do 400 for a done deal? Let me know, and it's yours. All right, so Mike's uh, countering that offer from Christopher Daly at uh, $400. That's worth it just for the hair. For the Jill Thompson. Yeah, just got great hair. hair. 
he's right. got hair like that. And just like JD Dunn just said, thank you, Jeff. That 200 plus are watching, and there's not enough thumbs up. Let's get Ooh. those thumbs up rocking and rolling, everybody. You know we like to get those. And Come on, more thumbs up. We should always be able to have 200. And uh, Christopher Daly has right. gone ahead and Thanks. accepted Mike's counter offer at uh, four hundred dollars for the Jill Thompson. Thank you, Chris. Bill, you've broken the ice. We broke. Thank you. We're getting the ball rolling. Ay ay ay. I like it. Was that on Skull Island? That was on Skull Island, wasn't it? I wasn't running fast enough, though, was I? It's kind of running in place. Uh, so no, we didn't get the, we got the ball rolling tonight. We didn't break the ice, but, uh, one or the other, they all, they all amount to the same thing. So thank you, Christopher, for that. We got the skull Thanks, rolling. We got the skull rolling. There you go. And Marcus is in there with the skulls. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marcus, for hitting those. Oh, it's Crystal Skull Island, <laughs> says Eric. All right. <laughs> all right. Very, very true. I like that. Um, all right, Mike, we're going back over to you here for round two. So, uh, Let's get that. Am I allowed to say everything. this dreaded word? Oh, boy. You have a very sexy page. Check out this cap. And I had one other page of Paul Glacy Grackle. It sold right away. This is the best one. Two sexy babes in a huge cat fight throughout every panel. Are you kidding me? Drawn on Duotone board. Check this out from 1997. Paul Glacy Pencils, Charles Yoakam, Ekam. Charles Yoakum inking from the story. I love the title of the story, folks. It's called Slam Bam Thank You, Ma'am. That's the title of the story. Featuring Blaze Mancini and Myrna Court in every panel battling each other. Ooh la la. Wow. Beautiful wash tone page. Even the back of it is sort of cool. Wash tone page drawn on a tone board. Beautiful, beautiful published page. So that's that one. And for you, that John Byrne, oh, check, check, check mm -hmm. this out. John Burning by the great Mark Farmer from 2008. From the story titled No Other Gods Before Me, we got Aquaman and Green Arrow battling the evil Titus. And at the bottom, we got Black Canary watching as Green Arrow and Aquaman get ready to battle the evil Titus. John Byrne again, Ink by the great Mark Farmer from 2008. Very, very cool piece. Signed by John Byrne at the bottom also. And a nice price on uh, that one. Galassi and Byrne, folks. Good stuff, Galassi and Byrne. And the grackle is actually oversized. It's a little bigger than normal. Can buy that art for a Scooby snack? Scooby would buy that art for a Scooby snack. And uh, just like Gwen said, I was gonna I was gonna say the same same thing to Qubits there. It's three sixteen where where they're at, and they're watching the show. What are you doing here? You're having a good time, Qubits. At three, yeah. well, it's probably three eighteen there now. But uh, yes, and thank you, uh, David, for reminding us that we uh, we we really do need to do some gimmick with uh, Bindiana Jones and the Well of Souls. That's a that is a perfect <laughs> title for Bindiana one of our a future episode of the Dealing Dealers of Comic Art. Yeah. And uh, Anthony, you did get an offer from Mr. Rich Cirillo on the George Press. He has offered you 375 Oh, come on, Rich. We did a deal at the show. You can do four and a quarter, can't you? Four and a quarter to take the lead. All to right. So Anthony lead. is countering well, Rich. Six takes the lead. Hmm? How about Ohio Jones and the Well of Panels? <laughs> Uh, very true as well, Margaret. The well of sold is eighty percent cosmic odyssey. Well, we'll see if uh, Rich uh, can do four twenty five, or we'll just have, that's the number that's out there on Anthony's one B artwork. Oh, oh, movies. that's for everybody then, right? Uh, it is now. It is now. So uh, round two over to you, Anthony. Let's go ahead and get your two A artwork queued up and visible to everybody. Paul Smith. All right, I'll take the 400 for Rich. And then Paul Smith, I think this was really cool. I'm, remember, to guys, tonight, all these Thank are you, carotid Rich. to butts. Oh, Nick Barucci wants 401. All right, so this one I thought was really cool. Uh, this is a Green Lantern and Iron Man mashup. Wow. It takes some real talent. I mean, this is like a, a full character design by wow. the master Paul Smith. 
uh, and uh, Iron Man amalgam. Yeah, oh. kind of amalgam. Why are you blocking my picture? I want to be on the. I want to be on the camera. Oh, She's sure. showing off the art. Oh man, don't block my camera time. All right, I won't ever show the art again. <laughs> That's it. All right, mess up Anthony's screen. It's what? 11, uh, eight and a half by 11 drawing paper. Oh, don't do that, Anthony. All right, next piece. Next piece. I, I don't like it either. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so now we have this one, and this one, okay, that makes a fun noise too. All right, so we got a nice, nice old. It makes everybody nervous. A nice old, oh, who's that? Mm. I don't know, but you're blocking me. <laughs> oh boy! All right, we got. Uh, I had Nick Hardy draw me as Superman, so there he is. Look at that; he's got a cleft chin. Oh, I don't have the nose or the eyebrows. It's weird. Uh, weird That's so cool. Weird though. Archie Nick eyebrows. Hardy, Superman flying. Yeah, but uh, this is um, dated Superman. 2002. It looks like he did that one at a show. Awesome. Was the uh, Paul Smith one dated? I, I, yes, it was. Yeah, twenty twenty. Okay. It was twenty yeah. on it, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty. All right. Amalgam. Superman up oh, and away. Nice Cardi. Nice Cardi piece, that's for sure. Oh, I love this. One. This one is so cool. Those are, those are strong lot lines for a Cardi pencil. Usually, they're all they're typically very. Yeah, usually he's lighter. Yeah, he maybe was, he, he forgot his sharpener and it was his pencil was getting dull that day. Yeah, because that's that, that's a little different. Yes, ooh la la, Mike, ooh la la. Uh, but it also see. comes. Hey, Bill, I had an uh, offer on the John Basema, and I will take it. All right, sorry, I was uh, too busy ban uh, bantering there. Where was the offer? Oh, uh, Mike would take. Uh, oh, from Black Shoe Films. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Four hundred from Black Shoe Films. Thank you very much. That's yours. And uh, I saw there was a question earlier about shipping internationally. And yes, we do ship internationally. It costs a little bit more. Uh, and I don't know what their regular prices are. Uh, maybe you both can quote that now. I mean, it's well, probably sure everybody. Comes. Yeah. Everything in the States is 25 to 30 bucks for high, base price. But everything overseas, I can ship anything anywhere in the world for 80 bucks. FedEx, Express, anywhere. And what about you, Anthony? What do you usually do? Usually, Australia is a little I bit more. I do a five fifteen and a domestic, and that's with a dueling as a comic book art portfolio that adds a lot of weight. Of course. And then uh, UK is forty. Your the rest of Europe's fifty. Australia is crazy right now because of their government, not us, at seventy five. All right. Yeah, Australia. Go. I find out when I ship to Singapore and Australia, I pay the most. I thought New Zealand was one of those ones that was mm. over and above. The other one. No, but the Australian is like government, Australia, yeah. I, if they've loosened up, I don't know yet. But uh, and then if you want uh, overseas uh, customers, if you do want FedEx, I can do FedEx at cost. All right, let's keep this thing rolling here. Uh, meow, meow. Yeah. I don't even know where we were now, but uh, congratulations to Black Sheep Films for taking that one. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Mike. I think we're we're switching back over to you for round three. Ready, sir? Okay, we got a couple of little mini doozies here, so you're going to love these. All Probably right. the best panel page in the book. Dave Latham, the classic miniseries, Daredevil versus Punisher. Look at this. I love this guy. He reminds me of Bill Cox. His name is the Bushwhacker. Uh, so Daredevil battles the Bushwhacker in the first panel. If Bill got a haircut, he would look just like that guy. Look at him. I don't think so. I know. I'm just messing with you. Daredevil you looks like Guy Gardner's messed up brother. That's anyway, right. uh, Daredevil and Bushwhacker in the first panel. Daredevil, Bushwhacker, second panel. Daredevil punches out the Bushwhacker in the third panel. And at the bottom, the Punisher steals a helicopter. But, I mean, I went through this whole book. There's only, like, there's literally only, like, four pages, four or five pages in the whole book where Daredevil and the Punisher are together. So I just thought, what a great page. It's 17 years old. Great battle page, folks. Second one. Vampirilla art is going nuts. Check out this published full splash. Rudy Nebra's pencil and inks from Vampirilla Strikes number five. Guy, Vampirilla looks and all of a sudden this guy's buddy turns into a zombie and gets ready to battle them. The color image looks fantastic also. But beautiful published Vampirilla full splash. 
Signed at the bottom by Rudy Nebrez. Beautiful, beautiful full splash page, folks. Vampirilla art is getting hot, hot, hot. Jesse asked the amazing Nick Baruchi there, folks. It's time to make a deal. It's going to be a doozy. Here's Mikey. <laughs> You're screaming. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> that gets better every time. It does get better every it time. Does. The acting in that. Woo! Love that one. Thank you. Mike should do a page read every week. I, I agree. That's a good idea. <laughs> what is, what oh, is you want to hear my one Halloween joke? You want to hear my one Halloween joke for the week? Why not? Why not? Let's hear it. Just as it's Halloween time, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why Why was the skeleton too scared to cross to... I'm sorry. Why was the skeleton too scared to scare people? Because he had no guts. Oh, boy. Moving right, right along. Anthony, round three. <laughs> your artwork queued up. Good try, Mike. Good what did I, I just wrote one in my head? What did the skeleton? What did the cool skeleton say to the the dermatologist? I have, I have no skin what? issues. Give me some skin. Give me some skin. Oh no. boy! <laughs> all right, all right. Moving right along. Yeah, hey, I just you wrote that. Yeah, no joke time is over, everybody. Give some skin. All right. Now we got Jim You're Chung. Up, Whoa, it's so hot right now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I modeled for this one 25 years ago. Uh, when is this? Sky on? Uh, I don't know when this was. But look at that. If you like your men topless, there they are. There he is. <laughs> so uh, this is which one? What's that? We got a. Uh, is this Sky on? Scion, Scion, yeah, sexy, Sion. sexy, Page 20. man, it's naked a man. All right, and he's making a splash with that babe behind him. Yeah, all right, moving Come on right now. Good just numbers. to give equal time to sexiness, look at this one AVX with White Queen, uh, uh making a, a, a certain pose that you can all join in on. Very flexible. <laughs> very flexible. Uh, very uh, uh, unique angle there that chosen by the artist, uh, Carrie Andrews. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, got some uh, haunches. <laughs> Thor would some not reverse haunches. To Emma. Hmm? Thor would not lose to Emma. A beautiful face, too. No. He, might have, he might have gotten distracted or something, but uh, what a great kick in the Bill of Thor. My. Hello, chat. Claim it now before it's gone forever and ever and ever. Yeah. <laughs> nice yeah. Nice Thank you for that one. <laughs> All right. I love it. <laughs> Moving right along to round four. Anthony, uh, you trail Mike right now, $800 to $400. Two sales to one. All right, Mike, let's get 4A queued up for you. We got and two great 70s pieces, pieces here, folks. Get ready. Oh, we're getting a little echo there. That was weird. But let's keep rolling. I heard that. What do we got? Check this beautiful 1970s All-Star Comics page. These are getting sought after and hotter and hotter and hotter to find, folks. Check this out, 1978, Power Girl, Hawkman, Dr. Fate, Golden Age Flash, Golden Age Huntress, Golden Age Green Lantern, all battling the Master Summoner. Beautiful, beautiful page. Joe Staten, inked by the great Joe Jella. And it's even signed by Joe Jella, Joe Staten, and the writer, Paul Levitz, in the bottom left panel. Great battle page. Looks like Rama Tut, but that's actually... Uh, the Master Summoner, but great page there with all those great 70s uh, uh, heroes. Again, folks, this is 44 years old. Wow. 
Now, Don Heck, Inc. by Don Blue in 1973. Semi-splash page with Samaritan throughout the entire page. From the story titled Voyage into Chaos. As Namer battles with the men of Zephyrland in an all-out battle against aliens trying to take over their world. Beautiful, beautiful page with a half splash with Subby battling. Great, great, great 70s battle pages, folks. I said 70s pages are getting harder and harder to find for Marvel and DC. I know, I got my Christian Bale voice all night now. Per permanently, man. Wow. Well, it's a nice subby by Heck and Perlin, that's for sure. 78 and 73. And if people could have seen what was going on behind the scenes with Sharon and Anthony, we would have all been laughing. Well, I was laughing, but I had I muted myself. I, I was getting sweaty. Shirt. I had to change my shirt. And I'm going to go ahead and be put on a fan. And yeah, like, she's I'm freezing. Leaving. I'm hot. She's hot. Oh, she's freezing. <laughs> You're a married man. You know the story. I've been there. I know all. Well, Mike, I like how you represented uh, Dr. Fade, who's coming out in the next DC movie, and Subby, who's coming out in uh, the next Marvel movie. That's right. They both are. I didn't even think Yeah, that's cool. That. Did you see the trailer for uh, uh, Wakanda and uh, how Submariner looks? He's pretty, looks pretty cool. No, I actually didn't see that one. Oh, they've got the wings on his ankles, Mike. They really? did it up. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, he's, man. Submariner, it's going to go and boom, baby. It's going to be interesting. All right. Round four over to the Snyder Residence. Let's get their 4A artwork. The world oh, the, oh this, is a, this is a pair, a pair of pairs. All right, this is a two-piece, a two-piece round. It's this a round has round. a theme. It is a splash with a panel page. Whoa. So you get, the, you get the splash where they're going, Abandon Hope, all ye who enter here. And then you get the, the River Stick Sky. Nice. So you get two pieces, a splash and a panel page valued well over a thousand dollars. Yay! Four thousand dollars. And you get the Sharona cake lady. Uh huh. How cute are you? Can we take a break for about two and a half minutes? All right. So, yep, two pieces for one thousand dollars. All right, two pieces there. And now another pair of artworks. This time from Hex issue seven by Mark Deshera. All right, so this theme, I was looking at this. What do I have this? No, oh, 500. All right, four and a quarter, Rich. Rich Cirillo, you're my best customer tonight so far. Four and a quarter. But we're losing time on this. All right, so four and a quarter. Well, I was addressing the offer. Okay. Okay. Rich is becoming quite an accomplished artist in himself uh, with his recreations and artwork. All right, so now this is by Mark Tixera. And uh, you have a a uh, hex in the modern world and uh, amusement park. So if you like roller coasters, that is really cool. Or if you like uh, fifteen year old girls on the roller coaster, you're gonna like this page. And Thank you. What did you get? I just I got a dueling heroes comic book art shirt. What did you get? I got a Clementine shirt from Anthony's comic book art. That's cheapskate. Oh, instead of a 25 cent candy, you got a $40 t-shirt? And you're calling me a cheapskate? <laughs> if I was oh 10 years God. old, I'd, I'd feel like I got screwed over somehow. You should Come be on. the same yeah. height as your daughter there, Bill. Yeah. What's that? You're way too old. You should be the same height as your daughter. Uh, well, we Make an age, age, age equivalent. I'm like your tall brother. Yeah. yeah. But at least that orange T-shirt's the same color as those crap uh, pumpkin. Uh, what are those little candy corn things? Yeah. 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 Hey, Rich, Rich oh, Cirillo did counter at 401 to you, and he said that would put you in the lead, just so you know, uh, on that Paul Smith piece. It would put you at 801 to 800. Hey, Bill, can you put me off screen for like 10 seconds? Uh, yes. Sure, sure. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll do a hat. Just real quick all right that shows I'm all right what? You, I, you want me to all show right, so rich rich cirillo 420 i'll take the lead at 420 come on 420 like a good deal all right so this two-page thing we got at ah. 
and a roller coaster and Mark Tixera, a Mark Tixera splash and a page featuring the hacks. Okay, Bill. Oh, right. He's back. I got to move myself around here, man. But you're just you're, you've got the you've got the voice for it tonight, Mike. You don't even have. Yes, <sighs> man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let me get things straightened out here. Uh, we got to start round four here for you guys. So, I mean, round five now. See, I'm, I'm getting messed up now. Five round five is where we are going. And here you go, Christian. Oh, Bale. my good Christian Bale, Batman here. Check out this amazing splash page from Batman Confidential number 30 by the great Scott McDaniel. Look at that published splash page. Are you kidding me? Signed by Scott McDaniel at the bottom from the story titled Bad Cop. It's awesome Batman as he swings above after killing three bad guys with blood all around their bodies. Are you kidding me? That can't be serious. <laughs> Beautiful Batman splash with two little inset panels, one inset panel at the top. Oh my goodness gracious me. That Beautiful is nice Batman one. splash there, folks. And in this round, keeping with the Batman theme, I sold one last week, and check out this one. I even like it nicer. Alfonso Espiri. Very beautiful Catwoman painting. Ooh, la, la. Are you kidding me? Beautiful piece. Nine by 12 and a half inch artboard affixed to 10.25 by 13.75 artboard. And signed at the bottom right. Beautiful painting of a sexy... Sexy, sexy cat woman. Oh, my Lord. Beautiful piece. Alfonso Aspiri is a great pinup artist, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So we got both of those here, folks. We got the Batman and the cat woman. Are you kidding me? We wouldn't kid you, Mike. That's Not a dog. Oh, that's a sexy one, folks. That's a sexy one. Oh, boy. Yeah. Just hold them there, Mike. <laughs> you killed the scarabs. Ah, they look like cockroaches to me. That was from know. the Mummy movie. Those were beetles, weren't they? I don't know. Yeah, they were little beetle things. Okay, Rich Cirillo, give me uh, four hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents. I think, I think you, should just, you should just accept the, the four hundred nine. Is what you should do. Tell him he can have it for four oh nine. Four oh nine and Alberto's been wanting you to take a sale at four oh nine tonight. All right, four oh nine. Four oh nine. There you go, Rich. Four oh nine is the purchase price for that two uh, A R work. Thank you so much. Who and else makes person. less in this world of <laughs> comic art dealing? Takes a dollar less. A dollar less. All right. Let's get you going here, Anthony. Round five. Over to you. We got some... Uh, yes, it was that piece right there. Put it in the sold pile, sir. All right. Got some color artwork here up next by Anthony. It's his 5A artwork by David Mack. Oh, this is so cool. Henry Cavell. 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 Ha, you say Cavell and I say Cavell. Oh. Wow. This has a price tag of, of his written on the back of $5,000. So $2,000 for a David Mack painted Superman all in color for a lot of dimes. Henry Carvel ice cream. He does look delicious. Yeah. What size is that? What's the they size? They in New York. Oh, this is big. It's like... 14 by 20. 14 by 20. Uh, see? Look. Can't be 14 by 20. That? Hmm? Well, They're breaking out the tape measure. We're... Here's an 11 by 17 page. So, yeah, there it is. Well, it's 12, 12. by 12 by 20. 12 by 20. Here. All right. Yeah. Sharon. Okay. This is a – wow. This is a great value. Simon Bianchi. His pencils for a painted cover. Wow. <laughs> That's a new noise. Wow. What wow. is that, Anthony? Oh. 
18. This is like a prelim, is what you're saying. This is a well, his it's his pencil art for a painted cover. There you go. Yeah. Very nice. Well. All right, and it's a lot of uh, actual. Um, it's penciled and inked. Uh, the blue you see is blue pencils. It's his, him working out his layout for the painting. Hello, Hello chat. chat. Come, Come and claim with us forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Hey Anthony, just so you know, uh, Anker did did uh, say in the chat that the Mac is a cover from something super, from, from a Superman three, so it must. Be oh, prices went up. No, you, you, did, you did the same thing last week, or you tried to. He's uh, oh yeah, I tried to. Right. Yeah, I've had pieces like that, and people have told me they're prelims to publish pieces, so I always get confused on Bianchi stuff like that. But well, we're talking about the the Mac though. Oh, I'm sorry. I was staying, talking about the Bianchi. I'm scared. No, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, We're talking about this. It's uh, in Italian. It'd be Bianchi. Okay, so Bianchi. there it is. That's, yeah. That's published painting. This the, you know, I don't know. He might have done this digitally. He might have done this digitally, and this is the original art. Is so. this real? Uh, he usually works traditionally. So, for the Simone piece, but uh, uh, well, there you have it. Two pieces there. Gorgeous. From uh, Anthony. Gold. So uh, moving on. Yeah, George. I used to be. Okay, so wow. Anchor said this was four thousand from his website. So in pounds. In pounds. Uh, so round six over to Ramita Man. Where is his Ramita Man? For you oh, Avengers oh. cover fans, get ready. Check this out. Brent Schoonover. Avengers number six seventy four. The published cover. Check out the published image on the bottom right with Willie. Beautiful published cover from the story titled Worlds Collide Part 5. The Wasp getting the powers of the Phoenix to save the rest of her fellow Avengers. Beautiful published cover. Five years old from Brent Schoonover. Brent Schoonover. Schoonover, I'm sorry. Schoonover. Be beautiful Phoenix-sized Wasp. How about that, huh? And published cover. Very, very nice. A published cover for sixteen hundred dollars. Unheard wow, of. Beautiful here. piece. Uh, that's the first one. Got that at the show on a in a deal on a, a Sunday. And the other piece, I got the deal. Uh, 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 this in a deal also. Keith Pollard and Pablo Marcos from 1981, 41 years old. From the story titled Chaos at Canaveral, as the man beast is attempting to hitch a ride on a NASA rocket as Thor and Man Thing, are you kidding me? Try to stop him. Really, really nice page. Polar and Pablo Marcos, 41 years old. Really nice page, folks. These are getting harder and harder to find. And I love Keith Pollard art. This was a Spidey. I'd be asking eight to ten grand for it. Oh my! Done at the same time he was drawing Spider-Man. Your time is up. Man, I should have yeah, kicked him right in the pants, shouldn't I? Very nice uh, Thor there, Mr. Berkey. I remember that. And if you want, you can get Bill to sign it at the bottom there or on the back. And that's the first time anybody beat death. That's right. I just did that. Uh, so, yeah. uh, Wes, did Mike just call me Willie? He darn well better not have. That's uh, What's that? Did you call me Willie? I don't know. He has in the past. Uh, and then Aaron Odinson said that uh, regarding the Mac that he said it looks like a prelim. For Superman number three. See, that's what I, oh, the Mac. The Mac, on the Mac from uh, 2018. So, uh, somebody just sent me a picture of that looks like it was the uh, published insert art on it. So, um, one way or another, we, we may never know. Um, but round six over to you, Anthony. Stop that texting. Let's get let's get rocking and rolling here. Just start that clock. Well, you're showing it off. That's That looks like the same start one. Start that clock. Yep. 
All right, Curata de Butts. If you're a Red Sonia fan, oh my God, these are awesome. Oh my goodness. How awesome are they, Anthony? Sword slashing, furious goodness. 1976, Bronze Age. Red Sonia, Frank Thorne art. Oh, Frank Thorne, Ooh. right? These are all Frank Thorne, right? Yeah. Love Marvel Frank feature Thorne. three, page 22, 1976. She's in chains, but she's using them against that big mechanical monster guy. And she's about to go over the cliff like, Whoa, like that. Right there. Yikes. When Bill again fights death. And you can't beat death and taxes, but Bill again did it. Every Look time. at that. Oh my god. This is if you're a Red Sonia fan, this is this is so oh, this is great. This is a grail. This wall capable. Wow. I really dig this guy's work in this period. Me too. That's incredible. All right, so 2000. If one is not enough, then two must do. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so look at that. She's fighting, fighting the mechanical monster again. But that, oh my god, look at that. Whoa, so hot from 1976. Mm. It's great, it's a great page. Lots of action happening there. Love it. That is a nice, uh, I like those two bottom panels. Very nice. Yeah. So those are curated debuts from the show. Got picked them. Here's another one. D, E, B, U, T, T, debut. We need to work on that one. Well, I, I, I gave a better idea to the to the to the staff on that one. It's D E B U T T S the butts. Well, this is the butt. Curata the butt. That's when you're talking about one piece. This whole show's curata the butts. Everything I picked up over the weekend. Always plural around here, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. Watch your P's and Q's. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to round seven. Every piece is a debut here, folks. Every piece. Yes, they are. All right, Mike. Round seven. This is a doozy, here. folks. Get ready. Oh, my Lord. Check this great Spider-Man page out. Oh, my goodness gracious. From 1990. This was early in his career on Spider-Man. Check this out. Spider-Man and the Molten Man. Awesome. As they team up to battle uh uh, tombstone. This is from uh, that oh, we have a claim. Game. I knew we would. From friends and enemies. Great page. Thank you, Scott. Nice pickup, Scott. I think I'm holding a couple pages for you too, Scott. So I'll add this to it. There is your next piece. And the next one. Great Justice League cover. Check this out. Justice League International Annual Five published cover, 1994. Pick this up at the show in uh, New York. We got the Tasmanian Devil, the Flash, Power Girl, Fire, and the Changeling all surrounded by cops in the streets everywhere as they're in another world where uh, superheroes are outlawed and all the police are surrounding all five of them on buildings and the streets to put them in the jail. This piece is 28 years old from the story titled no rules to follow. That's the title of the story. Uh, Chuck, I, I, I'm not sure how people pronounce it, Mike. Chuck Wojewitz? Or, sounds sounds uh, right to me. I think Chuck Wojewitz and the ink by Craig Gilmore. So, a beautiful published cover with five great JLI heroes on it. So, including. Hey. Uh, what did you get? I. I got a brick. What did you get? I got a brick too. Awesome! <laughs> because everybody needs a brick. They're all awesome. You know, it's so funny. I was passing by this brick salesman yard place, and I and I'm and I'm thinking about getting a pallet full of bricks and giving them out for Halloween. I think I think you should. 
And you, but you should put a sticker, a dueling dealer sticker, on every one of them. And, and sign, put, sign, and, sign and you should say, "I do not want them returned through my window." <laughs> That's right. Right. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you, Scott Wingo, for picking up that uh, very nice piece of Yay. art. On to round seven for Mr. Anthony Snyder. Where is that? I'm always there. Up oh, there, it is. There it is. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. This is the right one. All right. Oh, so this is by Paul Abrams. It's comic reader back cover. It says so on the back. Uh, uh, from 1981, Paul Abrams. So you got. Yikes. A, what is happening, Anthony? A That's published so cover. Cool. Black Canary asking for help from the Batman. And he's running away because he's. Uh, no. What? What? What's going on? Why is Black Canary in trouble? Yeah, who's that dude? I don't know. It's it's a <clears throat> but it's a published cover from 1981 of the fan scene, the comic read. It's great. Lots of action and I love the way they're drawn. They're good. Okay. All right. Now the one I showed already. Yeah, this one's uh very interesting. This is uh Kurt Swan and Murphy Anderson. This is kind of a, <clears throat> a side job. Uh, it's like Batman and the Joker, and it's two consecutive pages by the immortal combination of Swan and Anderson. And hold those up. And it was done for Canada. So a uh, word to the wise, Canadian. So you got two overlays, one with English and one with Francaise. Francaise. That's me. Ah, mais, que nas pas juste après tout. All right, come on. Where's my Canadian? Oh, where's my Wayne Mousseau? Wayne Mousseau, that's a good good pages for you, Wayne. He's a Canadian, eh? Drat spread. We almost got him. Set another trap. Oh, set another trap. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Giant Size Comics has made you an offer on the 7B pair of artworks uh, at uh, $1,500, Anthony. Mm. 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 Giant size likes to hold by his offers, doesn't he? Mm. And you were at two thousand, of course, for the pair of artworks. So uh, fifteen hundred dollar offer. You know what, Giant size? I'm going to take your offer with no negotiation, not even if it's fifteen oh nine. Yay, Giant size! Congratulations. All right, Giant size. Right. Thank you so much. Giant size comics gets the art. Thank you, Brian Anderson. Fifteen hundred dollars. I mean those cool and overlays. For just another three hundred dollars, you get the overlays. No. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, Wayne says he's French Canadian, by the way. So I'm a French Canadian. Well, it's got to say new say pa say tu ne voulez vous cacher avec moi. No one speaks it like you do, Anthony. All right. Le tout dit français dans ma colle. Moving right along. You ready, Mike? Grand Mer de Mer, ready. Uh, Francais de Paris. Here you go. This next piece, you get three pieces with it. I know people are always into the into the card art. Marvel masterpieces. I just got this at the show by David Palumbo. I, I've owned three of these. I sold them all immediately. So you get the the full. This is card number sixty one from the twenty nineteen. Marvel masterpieces card series, and you get a certificate of authenticity signed by the artist. And you get the published card, of course. Really cool. The Red Queen. The Red Queen, uh, of course, was the evil wasp from the Revengers, the anti-hero team who tries to battle the Avengers. But artist painted edge to edge on 12 by 16 inch thick masonite. Really, really nice. And again, you get the signed, uh, it's signed in the art and you get the COA and you get the published card. So that's the first one there. Yep. And next and one. The second one. Oh my lord. A published Adam Hughes cover. Are you kidding me? For Halloween month. Check this out. From the book Ferris number 12. Large cover painting by the great Adam Hughes. All Adam Hughes from 1220. This is Rapunzel from Fables as she looks in the mirror and all of a sudden, her entire body starts falling apart. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, it looks like a scream queen, Rapunzel, with her body falling apart on this very scary 
cover with her body rotting away as she looks into a mirror. This is large art, folks, drawn on 12 by 18 inch art paper with gray tones, but signed by Adam Hughes. There's the published cover. 12 by 18, large art published, Adam Hughes cover, folks. Wow. Not, you the back not sexy, not sexy at all, Mike, on that one. Not even sexy. Even the back of it is as cool as the front. <laughs> what was that, Bill? I think that's oh, cool because Martin that has to be first. the ugliest Adam Hughes figure ever. And it should be because it is But intentionally. Right? It is, and it, it's perfect for our Halloween theme. Yeah, I thought for Halloween theme I would use this one. So beautiful, oh. beautiful. And all that paint, that's all painting. Nicely done. All right. Round eight over to you. Half a round until cake break. Oh, and cake break is special. We've layered in some production value. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, here we go. We got a Brian Bolland, Howard the Duck cover prelim. Yep. Um, it's going to sell itself. It's going to sell itself. Uh, from 1986, signed by Brian Bolland as well, everybody. It's three thousand dollars. It's Anthony's 8A artwork. Not exactly. And he's smoking artwork. a cigarette and burning money. A duck after my own. I'm smoking a cigar and burning money. Oh, BB, Brian Bolland. Look at that. That is a finished pencil piece. If I ever saw one, by the Brian of the Bolland. So if you're a Howard the Duck fan, this is a great, great piece. Uh, he's looking at you with sad eyes, smoking his cigar. Sharon, where's my cigar? What'd you do with it? Remember, my high bidder of the night gets a sign, Bob Hope. Right now, that's okay. that's all it is. I, I thought this would really sell itself. I thought this would be gone already. Okay. Yeah, let, let's take a look at your next piece by all John. Right. Here's <laughs> another one that should sell itself. It published Casa D, Casa Day. Which one do you? Which one is it? It's a Avengers Uncanny. I mean, Uncanny Avengers with uh, Rogue and Wanda. What more could you want? Oh my God! So eleven by seventeen, Casa D, Casa Day, Casa Day. Oh, this is wall capable art, guys. It is nice. Casa Day. You can look at it either way. You can turn it over. Yeah, and if you like, if you like Rogue on top, you can get Rogue on top, or Wanda on top, or Rogue on top, and uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want on top, you can have on top. Well, on you know the top of that's <laughs> uh, a James Bond girl. Hey gang, it's cake break time. I bet Sharon's cakes are as good as the cakes at the malt shop. Yay! Let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, all right. So thank you to everyone at the New York Comic Con for giving me awesome ideas for this week's cake. Um, I ran out of time this week, however, so I just kind of modified a lot of what was done, but um, I made a... Yeah. cake. I am oh, into cake. <laughs> and keep say it. Come here and be your voice better. Yeah. We've got my son AJ, who who is the Lego master now. He is doing the voice of Skeletor very well. I might add. Come do more voices. Say something, Skeletor. Hey, <laughs> Did you hear Put that? Me back in the fridge. <laughs> And if we cut this cake open, no. there will be a Are there, brain? Are there brains inside of that skull? You Close. cannot cut me. Maybe. I will destroy you. Hey, he's going to... I'm going to go no. cut him off screen. And, well, no, cut, cut him, him here. Off. Okay, let me go get a knife. Go get a very oh. sharp knife. Oh, I got a... What? Package price for both round eight pieces? Uh, Nick said, uh, do you have a package price for both round eight pieces? Yes. Yes, you this is cake break for starting. So, uh, yeah, combined your round eight pieces were uh, $6,000. How about fifty-two fifty, Nick Baruch? Nick Baruch, Nikolai, Nikolas, Nick a plus, Nick a one. Well, there you go. 5250. Oh, Mr. Baruchi. And I can deliver them. We can go have dinner at Parks Casino. 
Come on. You can buy me into my poker game for 5000 <laughs> By the power of cake skull. Thank you, Eric. You get the zingers tonight. And Nick Brucci countered at 5K with time payments, Anthony. 51. Are you going to help me cut the cake? <laughs> Are you going to cut right Come on. here? Come on, right AJ. There. Would you fall asleep? Wake up. Will Skeletor scream when he's getting cut? No, when he's getting cleaved? All right. Let's. Uh, Ready? AJ. I, really you I think I'm you go. Right here. Oh, okay. Go right. for it. I'm can scared. you see? Yes. Oh, yeah. We can see. I'm really done. <laughs> you got to cut it all the way in half. All the way in half? Yeah. <laughs> You cannot defeat me. Uh, Where's the blade? Where's you the need blood? a bigger sword. <laughs> <laughs> There's no blood. That's, uh, you got to cut again. That before. I failed in destroying I have me. failed in destroying Skeletor. I have the power. Cut, cut, cut. No, cut back. Cut more. Oh, boy, yeah. Wait a minute. We missed, we don't want to damage we any missed the blood packet. Oh, no. Ugh. Aye, aye, aye. What did I do, Sharon? What did I do? <laughs> you baked the blood? You baked the oh, blood. Oh, there's the blood. Oh, yeah. There's uh, the blood. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. There we go. Woo. I misestimated the where I put it. <laughs> uh, Ew, the oh, 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 oh. It's dripping on my... Why well, is it not dripping on the art? All uh, right. Not dripping uh, on the art. Norman Bates is proud. Very of careful the design. Thank you, CJ. Norman Bates used to live in our old neighborhood in Chelsea, and he had a uh, he had some reputation. Get your get your. As Margaret said, he meant her different spot. today than she remembers. <laughs> I get it. All right, let's do a picture. Oh. Yeah. Skeletor. All right. <laughs> Here, I'm going to show uh, Nick the uh, the ball in one last time so you can uh, make a decision on your 5,100. Oh, pounds. such a – come on, Nick. A hundred bucks. It just covers my uh, my credit card fees. Remember, oh. everybody, I take PayPal. Boom. Look at sad eyes. That's Burning. like every business owner just setting fire to money. Setting fire to money and rent. And, and the size of those are usually eight and a half by 11, right? Yeah, they're on like typing paper. He yeah. I don't even think you use it. No, it's drawing paper. It's a pad. Yeah, it's, right, it's, well, it's, it's drawing paper. Nick's going for the combo on your round eight at $5,100 with time payments. All right. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Mr. Berucci. Looking forward to getting to hang out in uh, Baltimore. Very soon. All right. And uh, wherever Sharon is, great job as always, Sharon. Fantastic cake. Beautiful cake. Yes, we, we loved it. And the sound effects were also good. Blood curdling, in fact. Um, all right. Let's get round nine going here. Two more rounds until we get to the Ragnarok recap. So, Mr. Berkey, let's get you started here. And uh, Gene Colon. Check this out, folks. Daredevil, and to me, his arch nemesis is a stilt man. Gene Colan inked by the great Sid Shores. I, I always felt that Colan and Shores was the best, the best team up for uh, Daredevil. So 1970, this is 52 years old. With uh, From the story titled, Stilt Man Stalks the Soundstage. Daredevil in the first two panels, then the Stilt Man comes up from the water and destroys this guy's yacht with his babe on it as they won't get out of the way. Signed by the great Gene Colan, again, from Daredevil number 67. 1970, great page with Daredevil and Stiltman on it. Really, really nice page, folks. Wow. How about how that's, the first, that's the first one again, 52 years old. Wow. And the second one, for you Joe Jusco fans, could even get Bill Cox to sign the back of it. But really nice published Odin Force number three, painted large art cover. This is drawn on 12, edge to edge on 12 by 18 inch thick crescent board. Signed and dated at the bottom by the great Joe Jusco. They weren't allowed to call him Thor. Clearly it's Thor. It's Odin Force number three. 
but because of copyright issues, they couldn't call him Thor, which was sort of funny. But beautiful, beautiful published cover. And Bill Cox looks like Bill Cox there with a black goatee saying, I say the nay. Really nice. I don't have the arms, though. Or the legs, or the hair, or the face, or... All anything. right, knock it off, knock it off. Anyway, love that guy, folks. Love that guy. But beautiful, beautiful. A lamp is flashing like Morse code. D O O Z Y Doozy? What's that? Is a doozy. I don't know. Just wait till next week, everybody. You'll get it. And that's a, and a, that's a new one for us, though. That uh, colon. I think Mike, you you actually had a different uh, Stiltman page a while back, I believe. Right. I got this in a deal with locally with a guy for a Spider-Man page. So there you go. Uh, yes, that was a plum free shirt from Scott Pilgrim. Yes, Margaret, it was. I've worn it on the show a few times. I was fact. wondering what that shirt was you were wearing. Yeah, it's from Scott Pilgrim. Love that uh, comic. All right, uh, Anthony, round nine over to you. Let's uh, let's keep this thing going here. Where are they? Yeah, I have an Odin Force cover too you by do? Jusko. Yeah, it's really cool. He's fighting a Yeti. What did I do? Ah. All right, now we've got a Paul Pope Green Lantern unpublished cover. Look at this for all you Paul Pope fans. We got a Green Lantern with the. A big, he's got his lantern and he's got green power going crazy. Paul Pope, Green Lantern. Let's just consider this an 11 by 17 commission. Three grand, it's cheap, right? Yep. So, an 11 by 17 uh, Green Lantern on pub or full commission, edge to edge. It's 11 by 17. Can't you tell? Sort of. Yeah, I think I can tell. Yeah, 11, 17. Tell, 11 17. You want me to send sizes with everything that you can put on the on the on the uh well everybody likes to know so sure if you want to say it in advance that that helps. Yeah we, we we do like you pulling out the hand every now and again and trying to and... uh but next up this uh Olivier Coipel and Mark Morales Mighty Thor five cover from 2011. You've got it priced at three thousand five hundred dollars. Right? That is just that is inexpensive in itself. All right, so this one again is a curated debate. Copel or no Copel? Look at that. It's got the Galactus silhouette and it's got this army of uh, underpowered individuals, let's say. Uh, my favorite is the little dog barking at Galactus. That's going to do some good. So, thank you. What'd you get? I got a trading card with Mike Berkey on it. He signed it though. What'd you get? I got a trading card with Anthony Snyder on it. He also signed it. Oh, we trade. I like Anthony's better. It's fine. Ha! I'm the favorite son tonight. <laughs> the only problem is the only problem is if you if you get him slabbed, the Berkey is worth ten times more. <laughs> You've never gotten some slabbed in your life. You see the look on Evan's face though. She looked. She felt like she got gypped on that deal. It <laughs> wasn't happy. <laughs> oh, that, those were fun. Um, uh, do we have any new trading cards coming? Uh, you know what? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. We have something else planned for our 100th uh, anor you know, anniversary episode. So uh, we, uh, we like trading, another set of trading cards at some point are certainly uh, uh, an option for the future. Um, and just a couple of comments I saw. Larry said that uh, Quan would never sell a Koipel for under $3,500. And I think Larry also said that you can't get a Paul Pope for under $3,000 to commission him. But, Nothing but deals here on the dueling dealers of comic book art. Uh, am I giving away trading cards in Baltimore? I always carry trading cards with me when I go out to shows, Timothy. So I will definitely have a few. I can't promise which ones I'll have, but there, there's always going to be Billigans in the stack. 
So, uh, and do I have hats? Yes, I do. I still have to ship out the ones that I, 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 you know, I don't even know where the post office is around me. I hate to say it. So I've got three hats I still have to ship out from uh, from them. I'm not selling any. I don't have any to sell, Tim. I just give out the cards and shows. I and have who, a trading card going out in every order. Yes, you do. Uh, so where where were we? We were, sorry. We're out uh, we just round we're, ten. We're switching over we're to Berkster. Yes, Berkey, round ten. Uh, where is his stuff? Oh, here we go. This is a this is this isn't a oh mini. Oh boy! In honor of Halloween month, check. This is probably arguably one of the nicest Gene Colin Draculas you will ever see in your life. This is a published pinup in Marvel preview number twenty from nineteen eighty by the great Gene Colan. All the original stats are there too on that. But oh man, beautiful piece. Um. It's it's uh, partially mixed media and painted on 11 by 17 inch artboard. I don't know if you could ever find a better Dracula piece if you ever framed it. Um, I'm not actually sure. I sent out a couple feelers on who the inker was on this. I'm not sure yet. I asked Nick Caputo, but I'm not sure who who the inker is on this one uh, uh, for it. But it is published. And Bill, do you have the published image? I sent that as well. You know, I, I didn't include it because it was so identical to this one. You, it just really but proved it's page me. sixty-two. It's at the end of the book. Right. It, is, it took me a while to find it. I but, just wanted to show the show the thing, you know, in its entirety. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, let me get it up closer. But I mean, this thing is so nice. As Dracula pets his pet bat on his forearm in his castle. Beautiful forty-two-year-old piece, there, folks. Just unbelievable. 11 by 17. So that's the first one. And the last one, beautiful. Joe Staten, Ink by the Great, uh, Dick Giordano. Really nice to cover the Green Lantern number 117 from 1978. Beautiful page with from the story titled Sight of the First and Second Kinds because this came out okay. right after Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Really nice 40. Four year old cover. Are you kidding me? Wait, 40. Yeah, 44. But anyway, Green Lantern and Green Lantern uses his power ring to grab the hand off of his helmet and pull the helmet off of the evil Professor Oho as Green Arrow tribally holds the helmet, but they realize they have not defeated the villain. Great 1978 cover. Yeah, both those pieces are awesome, Mike. Oh, these are great, great, great pieces, man. So, wow. so on the on the colon, the the uh, lettering is a stat, correct? Yeah, it's over, but all the art's underneath it. That's the stat that they put on it. It's glossy. Yeah. Yes, but that's it good. could be taken off, and the art is directly underneath it. Even they're even testing their brush on the back of it. Sort of cool. Yeah, that's that's a great great piece. Oh, I I, I, I it's hard, hard to find hard to find a better Dean Colin Drac, folks. Yeah, anything we're showing on here doesn't make uh, doesn't show off that one as nice as it is. But very nice, very very nice piece indeed. Wow, um, wow! All right, Great Anthony. Bronze Age pieces there, folks. Round ten over to you, and then uh, on to the recap here. So let's see, Anthony. What you got? What you got? What you got? Here we go. You're my round ten. <laughs> All right, so uh, this one's a, a wonderful, wonderful. Oh, I love this one so much. Yeah, look at that. Well, I got to try to make a it's living. Go to a Kevin really Eastman, lucky. Batman, Ninja Turtles, number oh, six wow. variant. Uh, this is uh, mostly a virgin variant right there for the IDW. And it's got all the turtles with Batman. Now that is a real Incredible. grail piece Incredible. For, uh, for a Ninja Turtle collector. And uh, what, what, what are those villains called? You got me. You got me. You, you got, got me. Me's. You got me. There you go. I made it up tonight. You got me. Wow. You just got this at New York, huh? It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, I showed you a picture with me or Kevin. So, you know, there you go. But a Ninja Turtles cover with the Batman with the Dark Knight. Oh, my goodness. Right. That's great. And then another two, piece, another two piece set here from Mr. Snyder. Okay. I got these together in a deal. So I'm going to offer them together. Uh, Bob Brown and Tom Sutton for all you Dr. Doom fans. Now look oh, at this. Oh, yeah. You have a complete origin of Dr. Doom with Reed. 
okay? It is sort of an alt-universe thing going on with the uh, high evolutionary and, uh, right? And, uh, but uh, then you have a Fantastic Four. Hi. Nice hey. close-up, Bill. Man. Are you I'm, ready for your close-up? I was not ready for that. Holy man. I'm, yes, I'm here. Bill, Bill to Bill. That's uh, your to Bill for tonight, everybody. Yeah. So you have an origin of Doctor Doom and an alt origin of F. Bronze Age, 1973. Jinkies, that was some really good art. Are you really going to wait till the recap? Right? Marcus says he saw some boogers. That's not true. <laughs> Uh, Mike B is uh, he's he's in the chat, but he's not in the stream. Everybody, um, look Mike, at that, Mike Berkey. My face. Yeah, that is Sharon real. said I should yell to hurt her ears, so I will. No. Sell it, Sharon. Come on. Berg. Hands. Yeah. Look, look my hand. Uh, well, well, Michael uh, Rock just picked up the Poggy Lacy piece. That was. Um, he Mike. can't. No, 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 no. That's against the law. He cannot sell something while he's off camera. Well, he did it though. It worked. Oh, he's back. He can accept now. What you know, my stupid mouse. Every time I respond, I hit that button and it takes me back and takes me it's out of mouse. the way. It's uh, mouse. It's mouse. You, you, uh, you countered Michael Rock's offer and you and you've agreed to the three seventy five. Oh, 375. Okay. I think that's a great piece for 375. Okay. Yeah. Say it, Sharon. Yeah. And that's hard. a great bad piece. <laughs> My face! My face! Uh, Sharon, yeah. <laughs> described as the face of the Dooley Doos and Comic Book Art. She is the face of <laughs> the Dooley Doos and Comic Book Art. Well, well, she's the only genuinely good looking one, so let's put it that way. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I don't have a Ragnarok recap in here tonight. Oh, no, I do. I do. Here we go, because we're going to need it. You know, we need to redo that and put uh, Sharon in there, too. Yeah. That reminds me, a guy, uh, a, a very good good guy, good guy at the, at the, sh at the show, he texts me and says, uh, hey, will Assad do a Mignorner? But Mignorner's a toaster, and the lightning is toasting the toast? I hope he said no, right? Is that, that sounds fucking... Uh, oops. Oh, bro. That's the first F-bomb I've ever dropped. Uh, there you go, everybody. We had, had, it had to happen once, and it has. It will never happen again. Wow. But, uh, we we 90, 98 shows, but I was quoting. That sounds effing stupid. I'm not going to mm. really didn't do it. There's, okay. a, there's both these gentlemen's emails address, addresses, but you guys are hanging out for the whole recap. I know you want to see what's yes. going to happen here. So uh, just sit tight, and we'll get this thing rolling here, right? We're going to go on to the recap. 30 seconds per piece. Mike, your voice is uh, it's painful. To, you know, you got to. You gotta, it's all good, buddy. It's all good. It's not. It's, it sounds like it really, really hurts. But uh, all right, let's get uh, get the recap rolling here. Your first three pieces have sold: one A, one B, and two A. Yes. So we're going to started with the two B artwork. John and Byrne, folks, check out John Byrne. A uh, beautiful John Byrne page with black canary, green arrow, and an Aquaman battling Titus. I'll knock off a hundred bucks. I'll do five fifty on this one, folks. Beautiful page. And it's signed by John Byrne. Really, really nice. I love it. A great page by Byrne. So, doesn't get much better than that for the price, folks. And Five you fifty. Farmer drinks. Feel the burn. Feel <laughs> that burn. <laughs> All right. So, five fifty on this one, Mike. Best price. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do uh 500 for the, for the rest of the night. All right. This so is 500. 14 years old, folks. 14 years old. Right, Black five, Canary, nine. Green Arrow, Aquaman, and the evil Titus. Wow. Titus is 500 evil. bucks. Yes. 500 on Mike's 2B John Byrne JLA classified artwork. 
Nice piece. All right. Next up, we got that David uh, Lapham uh, Daredevil versus Punisher page. Man, I like this piece. Uh, I'll knock off. I, I think it's one of the best pages with Punisher and Daredevil on it battling. Uh, I'll go 850 on it. Really, really nice. Daredevil versus Punisher number three from 2005. 850. Really, really nice. Great Daredevil action on it. And you get Daredevil and Punisher. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty, pretty strong left T3 there on that third panel. Got to love that punch to the face. Mind you, the 1966 Batman series right there. Boom. Bam. Yeah, even even, even in the color version, they made that uh, slap yellow. That's oh, that's it. right. And signed at the bottom. Matter of fact, Bill, I'll tell you what. I'll go 800 bucks before the end of the show on that. 800 bucks. All right. 800 on Mike's 3A. Apple's ending. Stave Laugh. I'm great miniseries from the story titled Victory Now. Speaking of victory now, we've got Vampirella Strikes by Rudy Nepris here. Nice. Beautiful full splash, folks. Man, that's a doozy one. Uh, I'll do 900 bucks. Really nice full splash. I love the color version of it. The colors really blast out of it, but look at that. It almost looks like a wash tone page, even though it's pencils and inks. Really, really nice. Vampy coming across a guy who turns into a crazy zombie. Uh, 900 bucks, full splash, Rudy Nebrez, pencils and inks. Really nice. 900 bucks. Wow. 900 on this awesome Vampirella Strikes splash page. It is good. And everybody, don't forget, thumbs up, thumbs up here. So uh, next up, we got this uh, 4A, 4A artwork, Joe Staten, Joe GL. I love this. Joe Staten, 1970s uh, page. With uh, I have a thousand on it. I'll do nine hundred. Uh, I mean, early power, early early Power Girl appearance, early Silver Age Huntress appearance, as well as Doctor Fake, Golden Age Flash, Golden Age Green Lantern, and Hawkman, all battling the Master Summoner. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, folks. Wow, really great page, battle page, and you get them all on there. Nine hundred bucks. Yeah, I like the word balloons for the summoner. You know, you wonder what his voice sounds like when they make a word balloon. Like chiseled. It's a chiseled what? voice. Boy, oh boy, I really thought that one would have went tonight. Oh, well. But 900 is the best price on this one. 900 on that one, yeah. All right. Uh, next up, you've got this great Don Heck, Don Perlin. Subby Again, still early 70s, semi-splash page. Uh, I'll do 850 on it. Really, really nice. Beautiful Submariner battle page. Uh, really nice from the story titled Voyage into Chaos. As Namor battles with his buddies against these evil aliens. Really nice. It is. Very nice. Well, uh, 850. Matter of fact, I'll do 800. 800 right. till the end. Really nice piece. Don mm -hmm. Heck, inked by Don Perlin. So. Nice page, eight hundred to the bitter end on this one, everybody. So four B, wow. Don Heck, Don Perlin, nineteen seventy three stamp on the back. Almost fifty years old. Holy Toledo! All right. Wow. Next up, we get the the Batman Confidential Splash. Man, I like Ooh. that one. That's a nice one. Uh, I'll do eleven $1 hundred bucks on it. Really nice full splash, signed by the great Scott McDaniel at the bottom. Really, really nice splash. Splash. That is a good uh, one. I like Scott's work. Oh, man, this stuff. I know Batman and Daredevil was awesome back in the 90s. Matter of fact, Bill, what I say on that 11? You said 11. Yeah, I'll do 1,000 before the end of the night. 1,000 on that one. All righty. $1,000 on Mike's 5A, Scott McDaniel. Yep. And next up, 5B. 5B is, uh, what was that one? That was the, oh, the Asperia. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> I said I sold the Vampirilla last week. This is a nice one. I'll go to 1100 bucks on it. Really, really nice full painting of Catwoman by the great Alfonso Asperi. Really, really nice. 
uh, nine by 12 and a half inches uh, board uh, fixed to a 10.25 10, 10 by 13.75. But really, really nice, beautiful, frameable, sexy, superb. Wow. Doesn't get much better than that one. Wow. It is nice. What's what's the best price on this one, Mike? Do you think? Uh, I said eleven. I'll do ten fifty on it. So ten fifty. All right, one thousand fifty dollars on wow. Five B Espiri. It's a nice one. Okay, we got the uh, Avengers cover. Um, I'll do. Uh, I had sixteen on it. I'll do fourteen fifty. Beautiful Phoenix. Uh, Wasp turns into the Phoenix to save the Avengers. And a published cover, Avengers 674 from 2017. Really, really nice. Published cover, 1450. Look at the detail on that, folks. Wow. Really, really nice. Yeah. From uh, published cover at uh, 1450, right, Mike? Yep, and I love the published version there on the bottom right. You can check it out, compare it. Matter of fact, I'll do 14 before the end of the night. 14. All right, 1400. Mike's best price on a 6A. Next up, this awesome. I mean, I love this page, Mike. This Keith Pollard, uh, Thor. I said, I don't think, I don't know if Man Thing and Thor ever teamed up other than this book. Um, yeah, I can't think of any, but uh, I mean, uh, this is a good yeah. issue. I mean, I like the piece because um, uh, Manny sell when I put him on the website. I'll do fifteen hundred bucks. You get the Man Beast and you get Thor and Man Thing there, and Thor and Man Thing at the bottom. But the bottom is the money shot of both of them. Really, really cool. So really, really nice. Forty-one years old, nineteen eighty-one. I love Keith Pollard art. I, I've told people for years, Keith Pollard to me is one of the most underrated artists of the late seventies, early eighties. I love the guy's work. Uh, and Pablo Marcos, what a great anchor! So, really, really nice. Uh, what I say on that? Uh, you know, I didn't write it down. I hate to say it. Uh, I was, I was, I was too much uh, admiring it. I hate to tell you. But, I said fifteen hundred. I'll do fourteen fifty before the end of the night. Otherwise, right. we'll put it on the website, and I think it'll do very, very well. Yeah, no, I love Pollard's work, and there's, there's not enough. Uh, Honestly, there's it's yeah, just it's hard funny. to find his. With Thor, you always see like the title pages and stuff. You don't see a lot of interiors, so it's a nice. Right. One. I, I want to mention you had, you had an offer from uh, Black Viper of Doran on the Aspiri. You were at one thousand fifty, and they've offered nine hundred. I'll tell you what: if they can do nine fifty, I'll do nine fifty for it. All right. So uh, that was your five B. You're dropping to nine fifty. If uh, uh, Black Viper of Dorn can move up from nine hundred to nine fifty, we've uh, right deal. Uh, I thought I said fourteen fifty. Somebody said I said for if I did, I'll do fourteen hundred on this one. That's fine then. All right, and uh, Black Viper of Dorn has taken the Aspiri at nine fifty. Okay, you. thank you. And fourteen hundred on the Thor page. Great Pollard Bronze Age page, folks. Uh, fourteen hundred. All right. Thank you, Black Viper of Dorn. And fourteen hundred dollars on the six uh, B. So yep. uh, let's Those see. Are getting harder and harder to find, folks. You got your seven B. Seven A did sell. Uh, let's see. I'll lower this. I'll I'll go twenty three hundred. Uh, what was my lowest I had on on the burn page, Bill? You had the burn at uh, five fifty. You had it five hundred actually. Five hundred. Paul, if you could do 475, Paul, I'll do 475 on the burn. But uh, what I say on this one, Bill, 23? You said 23, Mike. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll go 2200 on it. 2200. Flash right. and Power Girl. You're getting Flash and Power Girl and uh, uh, Tasmanian Devil and Fire and the Changeling on it. Very, very cool. 2200. Right. Hard to find Power Girl covers nowadays, so that's a doozy. So twenty-two on that one. That's your Power 70. Girl and the Flash on it. And you uh, and you countered Paul's. Uh, well, and Paul has okay, Paul you. took it. Yeah, show that once for him. Yeah, that was your two B artwork going to Paul. Yeah, Paul gets that for four seventy-five. Thanks, Paul. Yes, thank you very much, Paul, for that. About twenty-two hundred on the cover, folks. 
Matter of fact, Bill, I'm going to do 2100 before the end of the show on that one. All right. 2, Just got it in on Sunday at the show in New York. 2100. 2100. 2500 and trade in a deal, but I'll do 2100. All right. So next up, the uh, 8A artwork. That is the Dave Palumbo uh, Marvel trading card art. Yes. Really nice. I've owned three of these in the past. I sold them all. You know, it's just getting. I'll do. I'll do twenty five hundred on this. Really, really nice. Uh, Twelve by sixteen inches, and you get, of course, the COA, and you get the, the finished card with it too, the published card. So all that edge to edge on twelve by sixteen masonite. Beautiful. A lot of people collect these. This is the Marvel masterpieces set now, folks. Twenty five hundred. Wow. Yeah, David did a lot of artwork for that set. Yes, he's most known for that. My God, I love her wings. Oh, he did her wings flapping there. So, the yeah. Red Queen, very nice. You get it all, folks. Twenty five hundred. Matter of fact, Bill. Matter of uh -huh. fact, I'll do twenty four hundred before the end of the show. So, all right. Yeah, David's actually best known for his work on uh, for some for Wizards of the Coast because he's he's a big sci fi fantasy painter. I mean, right. Uh, he's been around a long time. Young guy though. He's been, but he's been uh, professional for quite a while. So, yep. So twenty four hundred. Beautiful painting. All right. So what do we got next? Eight B. That is uh, the Adam Hughes. Not the Adam Hughes. Wow. Leaf. I'll so do thirty five hundred on it. Beautiful twelve large art twelve by eighteen published cover. Again, this is a published DC cover. Fables or well, Ferris. But it's from the fable storyline of Rapunzel uh, looking in a mirror and turning into this what, scream queen that's literally a scream skeleton queen. 3,500, folks. Wow. Hard to get a published Adam Hughes DC cover like that. But I thought with our how and, and all the paints and everything, thick paints on it. Published cover. I said the back of it is as cool as the front. That is nice, Mike. What was the size on that one again? I forget. 12 by 18. 12 by 18. Edge to edge on 12 by 18. Paints, mixed media. And I listen, I'll even, I'll combine, I'll give a deal for combined uh, orders too, folks. So if you want to make combined orders, feel free. Just let me know. All right. So $3,500 is Mike's best price. Uh, for Halloween month, I'll go 34 before the end of the show. 34. All right. 3400 Keep rallying those likes for us, Nick Perucci. We appreciate oh, happy it. Happy days. Um, all right. Next up is your 9A Gene Colon. Wow. 1970, 52 years. I'll go four grand on this one just to keep things moving. Signed by the great Gene Colon at the bottom. Really, really nice and cool. Daredevil at the top and Stilt Man all throughout the bottom coming up and busting up a yacht. Well, I can't say I didn't warn you, but not for long. Really, really nice. Four grand. Colon, ink by Sid Shores. One of the greatest. To me, Sid Shores was his greatest inker on Daredevil. I like him more than Palmer. I love Shores inking. So, All right, 52 years old, and this one is 4000 4, on that, folks. All right, next up we got your 9B artwork. That was the Joe Jusco but Joe oh, just go, me. man. Try to keep things rolling. I'm not 500 bucks off. I'll do 6,500 on that. Really, really nice. Published, large, painted cover. Let me scroll down. And again, the size on that, it's drawn on, again, large art, 12 by 18. 12 by 18 inch uh, crescent board, edge to edge. Beautiful, beautiful. Published cover. Done in 2019. <laughs> Yeah, it is very nice. Sixty five hundred, Mike. Best price on that one? Uh, you know what, Bill? Heck with it. I'll go six grand to try to get some get some movement here. Six right. grand. And again, time payments are always possible. That is very true. I love Joe's work. He's uh, uh -huh. he's amazing. One day I hope to get him on. Get Bill Cox to sign the back of it for you, folks. Uh, and even take a picture when he's dressed as Bill Thor. Yes. Yeah, I'll take a picture. I'll well, definitely do that. All six right. So grand six and grand. Uh, time payments are fine. All right. Now the uh, the one of the doozies of the night is Gene Colon. Yeah. 
And I believe it's correct. Uh, somebody said they believe Jansen did the inking on it, so I, I believe that as well. So uh, published piece. Uh, uh, I'll do twelve grand on it. Uh, really, really nice. Published. Again, the emphasize published. I don't know how you get much better. I don't even think there's any covers that are better than better than that image of him. I mean, look at the detail. Just amazing. Yeah, that is a oh. what I say on that, Bill? You said twelve thousand, Mike. You know what? If it helps for me to defeat my buddy Anthony, I will do eleven before the end of the night. And time payments are possible. All right. Eleven thousand. Yeah. It's as nice think... as any cover you're ever gonna find by him. Forty two yeah. years old. Wow. It's a stunner. Um, so eleven thousand dollars for that one. Yeah. Now, the last piece of the night, that Green Lantern one seventeen cover. Uh, on this one, I'll go thirteen. And again, time payments are fine. Hard to find seventies, literally seventies DC art from a what a great title too. Staten. This is a Joe Staten ink by uh, Dick Giordano, and he actually signed it twice in the art. So Staten inked by the great Dick Giordano. Great images of Green Arrow and Green Lantern and uh, Professor Oho. So uh, very cool. Uh, um, can I say that, Bill? You said thirteen thousand. I'll do twelve five before the end of the night. So, seventies covers are getting harder and harder and harder to find, folks. That is a nice one, Mike. So twelve thousand five hundred dollars on Mike's ten yep. B Green Lantern. Just I for sure one of those two would have gone tonight. Wow. Well, uh, they're both uh, very fast. And, and the Drac, I got in a deal. The Drac, the guy owned it for 30 years. The guy I got, I did a deal in New York, New York, uh, Rochester. I got this from a guy. And I uh, thought that would go. It's been in a collection for 30 years. What's the yeah. story about Roger McKinsey? What is it? Who's Roger McKinsey? He's a writer. He was the writer oh. for the uh, books. They talk about uh, Roger McKenzie. So he's the writer for the uh, Tomb of Dracula. Yeah, you've, been the, you've been holding on to that one for a while, Mike. You, you did that deal at least a month ago or more. Two months yeah. Ago. Yeah. All right. Well, we're switching over to uh, Mr. Snyder, man. And, and people uh, can make offers on the comment section. I'll be watching and I'll respond. Man, Mike, I hope you get <laughs> your voice just sounds like it has it, like oh, it hurts. It's all good. It sounds it's like it hurts. Good. Uh, all right, Anthony, your first, uh, your. It happened to me after San Diego Con too, Bill. I lost my voice after San Diego. Also, no, I know you did. I know you did. So, uh, oh, actually, your one A did not sell. So we're going to start Anthony off on his one A artwork. Here you go, Anthony. The Frank Brunner, and we're not sure whom the inker was on it. As pencil all over it. Uh... Yeah, I just can't make out that signature. But I liked it. It looks like Frank Bruner, uh, the pencils and uh, and an inker. Uh, very professional looking inker. Very uh, good for Frank Bruner. I'll do three fifty. Three fifty. Let me yell for my wife. Coming. Hello. All right. So three fifty is your best party. What? I said it's 350 your best price. Oh my god. Down a little bit more. 325. Who else? Who else? Uh... all right, three and a quarter. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. We've got a good thing going here, Anthony. Oh yeah. Every time you open your mouth, I lose money. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you went from 410 to 409 for me not too long ago. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, everybody else squeezes every dollar. I give them away. That's true. Uh, all right, uh, so those two pieces in the middle just sold. So we got 2B here, the Nick Cardi. Uh, I love Nick Cardi. He's my favorite. Well, mm, not my favorite favorite. Jack Davis, I've decided, is my favorite artist of all time. But Nick Cardi's up there with his DC covers. I got one right behind me, the, the best Super Sons cover ever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to sell that one. So look at that, Superman. All right, what's my best price? And show that one from the con. Didn't you do work on that? Uh, I didn't get a chance to work on that. All one. right, you didn't get a chance. All right, so uh, three and a quarter. 
All right. Three and a quarter. That's Anthony's best price on his 2B, Nick Cardi, Superman with Anthony's jaw. Uh, uh, <laughs> My cleft chin. Indeed. All right. If you like your men naked, this page is for you. Okay. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> uh, that's about all I got to say. What a beautiful body that is. No, but this guy I consider a modern mess. <laughs> Where's my uh where's my naked what man a fans? Where's my naked man fans? All right. Well, and what then we got huh? what's your best price on that one, Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> Sharon likes me. What That's all I care about. What a beautiful yeah. <laughs> I even had better arms than that guy. Look at that, he's too short. He did? Yeah. Sharon, what's your right, best so, uh, than that one? Objectifying men. Mm. Uh, well, well, equal uh, opportunity objectifiers. Yeah, right? it's. I mean, I just love Jim Chung art. That's why I, I uh, uh, debutted it. So let's do uh, let's do six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. So six and a quarter on the uh, Jim Chung. And then we got this great angle. <laughs> And yeah, this is uh, your three B artwork. All right, um, so I've uh, objectifying that man. Let's objectify that super heroine. Mm. No. All right, let's do six fifty on on the Carrie Andrews. Six fifty, six and a quarter. Say something, Bill. What's your best? <laughs> is that your lowest price, Anthony? You're doing all right. What is it? Is that a Willy Wonka song. Well, this was a Carrie Andrews piece, everybody. Avengers versus X Men or something Six like that. AVX versus Yeah, Iron it's AVX but... job. Yeah, it's, it's an AVX, AVX job. Like issue four. Emma the Frost from somehow slapping Thor around. I don't know how that's possible, but uh, because she's made out of diamonds. Oh, uh, but it's Thor. Ooh. Praise the God. Oh my God. Uh, so uh, six twenty-five, best price on this one. It was good to be at a full fudge Comic Con with all those New York punches. Yeah, six and a quarter. Oh All my right. God, you asked. Oh, six hundred. Six. Okay, there you go. Six hundred, everybody. We got them down to six hundred dollars on that three uh, D artwork. Next up, four A. What is four A? It's a pair of artworks by Brent. Anderson. Let's do six hundred each on uh, on the on those uh, two objectifying uh, sexy pages. Okay. Sexy, so sexy. Sexy, sexy. All right. So we got we got a pair of artworks by Brent Anderson from uh, Kazar. Uh, issue, yeah, and it's uh, the title page, of course, issue one, and then also page six. 1982. That was a good year. Kazar. Kazar. Look at that beautiful Shanna panel. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what? There's a hand. Where's a hand? Oh, hand. Come. <laughs> hey. uh, what is your best price on this pair hand. of artwork by Bernie Anderson? Come to me. All right, so let's do. Uh, um, I mean, this is a great value. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this up for like. I'm gonna put this splash up for like twelve hundred. So you're getting a great value here on the Dueling Derby Comic Book Art. But what's your best price? Yeah, uh, nine fifty. That's a good deal. Wait, wait. Are you I'm serious. Sure? No, this is a good deal. It should have okay. been taken. This is good. Look at that beautiful Shanna the She Devil, the woman responsible for it's devaluing. Thousands of Hulk 181s. All right, so 950 on the pair of Kazar works by Brent Anderson. Next up, Mark Teixeira. Oh, Next so pages. All right, this is the Mark Teixeira two pager. Splash, splash. Gosh, it's so weird. Splash. And if you like your, uh, you know, 16 or you seven. Can, you can barely even look at that page, right, Anthony? He 17, hates roller coasters. I hate roller coasters, yeah. You know. But it's, that art is bad. Amazing. Bad. I'm I'm psychotically phobic to roller coasters. Yeah, I right, so think that's what the price is on something. What? You're psychotically phobic about telling us what the price is on something in 30 seconds. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't have What's your best price, Anthony? Don't take forever and ever and ever. That is the best. 
<laughs> I love it. All right. So, uh, yeah. Sharon brings the idea. She's like, oh, I got the twins thing. And then uh, I, you know, I compose and direct. And, that's right. I, 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 and then she acts. That's right. Okay, so we got the uh, roller coaster, and if you want to, yeah, like a sixteen-year-old girl on a roller coaster, you know where to go. And I'll do eight fifty on the, these two, Mark and Sarah. Mark All right, Sarah. eight fifty on the four B artwork. Next right. up, next up, we got a five A. What is the five A? The five A. Oh, is that David? Superman. Matt. All right, is it the David man? Okay, Superman. It is Henry Cavell. Talk about. A beautiful Superman. Is that watercolor? It's yeah, so nice. watercolor on board. Beautiful. David Mack. That's a big S on his chest. But what is your best price on this a one? Big S for Snyder. Ah. Wow, I actually did that right. No, you okay. Didn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, some uh, somebody showed me. Uh, I mean, I think the, uh, and thirty seconds. Too okay. late. It's seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. All right, seventeen fifty. David Mack. That's that uh, Superman three. We don't know what it is. Prelim pin up something. But what? Um, it looks like it was uh, actually done as an insert panel on that cover. Okay. All right. Well, you're at seventeen fifty on that one. Next up the, uh, is your five B artwork by hey, Simone. Simone Bianchi. Bianchi. Yes. Bianchi. This is All the right. uh, variant cover to Very. Batman Superman 6. It's the Batman pre and Superman. And uh, you were at $2,000, Anthony. Okay, I'll do 1800 on this one, guys. 18. Hon. 18. Hon. Oh, give me. 18. Hon. Eighteen hundred dollars, everybody, for uh, this uh, prelim by Simone Bianchi. There you have it, uh, and it's your five B. So next up, we got six A. What is the six A artwork? Oh, six A and six B will be a pair of Fra Frank Thorns here. So first up, this Frank Thorn, page twenty two for Marvel Feature Three. Can you tell me? Uh, Forty six years old, originally priced at two thousand dollars. Anthony's going to tell us right now what his. Oh, right now. These are so hot right now. Look at this. This is the best Red Sonia, best Red Sonia art I think ever created. What? What, honey? You laugh, you cake lady. Yeah, right now. And you but it's 42 it. years old. No, 46, what? actually. Um, 46. 36. 46. 46. Four, 46, Anthony. 46. What's your best price, Anthony? Oh, it's it's 46 years old. That's what I said. You kept saying 36. No, it's 46. I know that. Do you add well? Do you <laughs> add good? Oh, boy. You guys. Uh, All right. Listen, I'll do. Yeah, hold the one in your left hand up. Okay, yeah, this out. one, the first one, I'll do 17. This one with that great headshot of her, I'll do 18. 17, 17 and 18. 18. All right, seventeen hundred on the six A eighteen. Sharon's having a good time tonight. On the six B, is there like a a pair price for these? I mean, you, you know, I don't well, know. Just trying to help you here. Yeah, make a pair. What does gaslighting mean? I don't even know what that means. Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Okay. Uh, so seventeen eighteen for the pair, uh, or is there a combo? Okay, price? thirty-two for the pair then. Or thirty-two. Do that. 32. These, I love these. God, yeah, I love these. These Who are like the thing? best looking thing from my, when I was reading books, That th this is what art should look like. This is what Red Sonia should look like when I was reading books. Because this is from a 20 cent book. I was 12 years old. That's it. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Awesome. All right. 3200 for the pair or seventeen and $1,800. If you're so inclined. So uh, next up, we got the 7A artwork from Anthony. And uh, that was the Paul Abrams piece. All right. This is a 1981 published back cover comic reader. Uh, uh, people collect uh, your comic reader as like a comic book. I sell these all the time. I buy collections of them. I'll do, I'll, uh, 
you know what? I'm going to slash this one. Boom. $1,250. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. Okay. $1,250. I'm going to go way down on it. Boom. That's like by a third. Yeah. I, I decided, uh, I decided uh, I'm going to uh, be very negotiable on that one. And you got it before the bell. I'm proud of How's you. that? Oh, she's no, proud. I'm impressed. I'm I, I'm at a loss for words. But uh, I thought I thought you'd be proud of me for having the biggest best setup at New York Comic Con. I didn't see it. Everybody so uh, all right, the 1250. 1250 is your best price on the uh, 7A. Now, what do we got here? We've got uh, we're all going up to 9A now. This was the Paul Pope Green Lantern piece. Yeah, I thought that would fly, really. But it didn't. So, what's your best price? It's awesome. 2800 I mean, I think this is a fast mover from the website, guys. 28 28 Look 28. at that. Unpublished cover. Edge to edge ink. Is edge to edge. Version to it? Huh? Is there a published version to it? Uh, usually Bobby looks for them. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's why I said, like, you know. 1117 commission rate it is like it is craziness. Right? All right, there's a Bianchi. Bianchi. And here is the published Mighty Thorpe. That's all oh, right. This might be up your alley. Look at this. It's it's got humor, it's got good characters. All right, so what, 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 2800 on the Pope, though, right? Is one of Yeah, 27. Right. Well, 2750. All right, 2750 on the post. 2709. Okay. So hard. Next up. 270850. And 99 cents. And uh Dan can uh Dan has said that uh, the published version is on Felix's website by Paul. So there you go. How much is it? Uh, I was probably sold, so there's probably no price on it. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't like that. I take stuff off a second that sells. All right, so um, All right. yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of humor to it, a lot of characters. I mean, you know, look, it's got Bill on it from when he was, you know, working in a coal mine. I don't know. A uh, Bill homage. He was working in a movies or whatever a joint when he was what eighteen. Yeah. Going on the roller coaster ride. What do you think your best price is on this one, Mr. Snyder? Look at that, look at that Sharon. This is my best price. You know what? I'm not going to go down a penny on this one. Thirty-five. Well, okay, I'll go down a penny. Thirty-four ninety-nine ninety-nine. Thirty. Real? Yeah. Real? I mean, you know, if if somebody's interested, give me a ring. But I mean, this this is. <sighs> Look at the dog. Yeah, she loves the dog, right? You love the dog. That's my, that's my favorite part too. Is uh, like the little dog barking at Galactus. The little details. All right, got a lot of humor. Really is this awesome. good for your wall, Bill? Uh, you know, I'm nah, not that Come one. on. Sorry. Really? I'll uh, do 3000 for you off the bill, Bill. Uh huh. All right, uh, next up, we've got uh, what do we got here? Nine. Awesome. This, I love this. Oh, no, no, 10A. I'm sorry. This is the uh, we're moving right along. Kevin Eastman. Love this. Yeah, I know you had a earlier that you said. I, I think you dropped it. The, did, you, did you drop this at all? I don't even know. You didn't. You didn't make a counter offer to uh, Mark's offer to you. Yeah. So, so what is your best price on this one, Anthony? Not doing forty-two. Uh, Seventy-two. Whoa! It's worth every penny. Not when I, you know, get it from Kevin one day and put it up on the show the next. You know, virtually. So 72 on this one with the Batman and the Ninja Turtles and a crazy, crazy uh, uh, villain. You'll never get tired of looking at this because you find something new on the page every time you look at it. Yeah, it's I mean, it's just jam packed with characters and all the turtle. See, Anand is uh, stepping up. That's $6,500. like a metronome 68 all right so, uh, on. 
if it is countering at $6,800. Uh, right. Kevin but you got to catch up with me. You know, it's like uh, 68. 68 within, uh, you know. All right. $6,800 is the counter offer to Anand or I guess to the, the overall chat as well. Gorgeous piece. Absolutely. So uh, last piece of the this night. This is the real grail. Uh, it's the, the turtles with the Batman. It brings it up like crazy. Anon, 68. All right. Next up is this last one here. Uh, Anon countered with the same price, 6500 Um So think about it. While you tell us about this uh, Bob Brown, Tom Sutton, Warlock number six pages, there were two pages in the set. You had them in price at $6,000. Right. Okay. So now these are these are um, really cool. Uh, and they look really good because Tom Sutton inked them. Uh, so you got the origin of uh, Doctor Doom and the origin of the FF hand. All right. Sixty-seven and on sixty-seven. But, but look at that. Say, say it, Sharon. My face. <laughs> sixty-seven. 60. 67 on the uh, 10A. What's the price on the 10B, though? The yeah. Pair. You know what? 6609. What? 6609. Anthony keeps talking about the prior piece. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm trying to engage but that offer. I mean, that's I a real offer. I know. I know it All is. All right. But... So, uh, God, I, I, I don't I don't have much room on these. I paid, I paid, uh, I paid strong on these. I got like, you know, like uh, I do 50, 5,600 on these. All right. $5,600 is. Uh, so not if you can catch up with me on the other stuff and um, and uh, pay for this uh, shortly, I'll do the 65. All right. And uh, you did get a offer from Chuck Arnold on the Paul Pope at $2,300. What did I say on that, Bill? Uh, where were you at on the Paul Pope? 28, 27. Like uh, I can't remember now. I've got to go back and look at it. Uh, you were at 2709. Is where All right. Was. Anand has agreed to that. Anand, I'm holding a bunch of stuff for you also, buddy. All right. So Anand has agreed to what? The 6700? Was that the last? 6609. Oh, the 66, 6609. Oh, my God. I thought God. it was 65. Right. No, it was 69, 6609. 66. And Chuck, I'll do 25 even on the Paul Pope. 25 even. Curated the butts, guys. Here we go. 25. Totally curated. And that yeah. says no, no, 6,500. So I, I guess that's. Oh, 6609. I thought you said 65. Oh, no, I did say 65. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. You guys are no, confusing me now. I did say 65. Yeah, 65. you're right. All right. Because I'm trying to go through the notes here and uh, I'm not able to keep up on that. So okay. 6,500 is a done deal to a non. All right. Perfect. And. Uh, Chuck Arnold has agreed to the $2,500 on the Paul Pope as well. Okay, great. Having a good night. Yay. Good follow-up to a great New York Comic Con. Everybody everybody that I saw there, uh, the Berkster included, we did a big deal and we did a lot of stuff. I don't yeah, know. I, my best selling, I had my best selling show ever on uh, at the show. I can't believe it. I did more on Sunday than I did the first four days combined. I couldn't believe it. Wow. Good for you. Awesome. It's like that sometimes. It's like yeah. all the CAFers were there Thursday, and then the pretty much I didn't see him again. Yeah, but those they, efforts, it, those CAFers. Yeah. Yeah, the, the CAFers. But then when people, you know, need to like do a deal that Sunday, there's a whole lot of major shows where Sunday is the best day. Yeah. And that, that was the same for me. I had a huge, a huge sale on Sunday. That was great. Well, that's yeah. good. I mean, you had a good uh, San Diego, Mike. So if you did better at New York, yeah. that's pretty incredible. Everything was All right, great. everybody. Well, I think, uh, I don't know. Do we have a winning meme for Anthony tonight? I, 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 we must have something. Oh, Mike, you didn't get an offer here, though. I, uh, I'll see. 4B. Oh, was 4B? 4B was... 4B or not to be. The <laughs> Don Heck. The Don Heck, yes. And, and you were at not, uh, 800 on it, actually. Uh, 
if he can do seven fifty, I'll do seven fifty. Okay, so countering back to uh, Stephen at seven fifty, and that Don Heck and uh, Perlin. Let me show it for you. Yeah, I said I was like going first because when Anthony's doing his recap, I get to put all my art back in their bags. <laughs> That's a big time saver. <laughs> hey, it it saves, it saves me 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, say it one more time, Sharon. My face. <laughs> my face. All right. Uh, usually we, 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 we maybe we don't have an Anthony winning meme tonight. I thought for sure we would. But hey, everybody, just so you know. Happy, Anthony. Woo, woo. If you want any artwork tonight, please email both of these gentlemen this evening. With your address. Yes. Include your mailing address and also your YouTube handle. And, uh, you know, they're just but, but don't wait till tomorrow. You always got to do it tonight so they can get those invoices out. When, when Anthony's not tired, he'll stay up till three in the morning sending out invoices. So will Mike. He's a night owl, too. Yes. So, After a fantastic victory over the Ramita Man on Dueling Jr. as a comic book card, I'm going to do my fantastic dance. He's so proud of himself after that. Uh, fantastic. That's, that's a cool. terrible meme. <laughs> we well, I know you hate seeing it because it means you lost. Oh, oh no, no. I think you can think of something better is what I mean. Okay. We can oh, put some music okay, to it, yeah. too. And some You're music. not biased. You did get an offer from Stephen Crawford, Anthony, on your foray. That was the uh, pair of Brent Anderson, Kazar pieces. And Splash is worth seven fifty. dollars Stephen. Come on. Well, you, were, was, you were at nine fifty on that one. Uh, do eight fifty for Steven. Steven's a consistent customer. Eight fifty on the Kazars. Eight fifty. All right, that's on a pair of Kazars and the River Sticks. And well, we'll give Steven a few moments to think about that. And uh, if we don't hear from him, we're gonna we're gonna call it a night, everybody. Anthony, congratulations! I'm glad you guys are both back, Mike. You got to do something about man, your your voice. My my goodness. Yeah, that's why it's called a horse voice, Bill. I know, but it, it sounds like it hurts. What do you want me to do? It's a horse voice. It takes time, and it'll come back. All right, all right, all right. Well, you know what? I'll be Mike. If if you go horse tomorrow, cheering on the Guardians as they whoop the Yankees rear ends. Oh my God! Get really, my shirt. Get my shirt. It'll be worth it. Real quick. Okay. <laughs> Get my shirt real quick. Oh man! All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, uh, especially uh, you know everybody who picked up artwork tonight. It was it was a lot. Always of do eight hundred. Your address. Always save your address. Yes, please, please include your mailing address when uh, when you send in uh, your information. Look at so, this. Thank you one and all. Uh, I'll see everybody again tomorrow night here. Uh, uh, Gene Stein, Jersey. All right. Oh, my goodness. Look all right, everybody. That. Take it easy. Thanks.